everybody how's it going this is babylon 5 this is season 5 this is episode number 10 this episode is called a tragedy of telepaths so we saw recently how there's been more and more unrest within byron's group and there's now an offshoot that isn't overly happy and then there's byron who's just trying to install calm really because he doesn't want really to create chaos but then at the same time he has that kind of created a chaos because he's had the telepath spying on members of the alliance to get information from them in order to blackmail them so it's kind of like he's preaching one thing but then doing the opposite so I don't know whether he's not, conf if he's confused, if he's conflicted. He just kind of wants the best for his people, but whether he's going about that the right way has yet to be determined. We've kind of seen both angles with that so far. And then we've got Londo, who has had to go back to Centauri Prime because the region is nearing the end of his time. And I think the most poignant part of last episode for me was the talk that Londo had with the regent. It was very similar to the talk Londo then has in the future with with John and Delenn. And there's something just so devastating about the fate of the regent because he was this bright, funny guy when we first met him and he just brought a smile to my face and last episode broke my heart with him a little bit. I was like, this poor guy. But now Londo's wanting to get off Centauri Prime because he knows there's something not quite right here. He said it's became a bit too dark here. We know why, because there's this shadow ally there, I guess. There's the keeper there as well on the region who it looked like got strangled at the end of the last episode and then we found out that alliance ships were getting targeted but it wasn't necessarily raiders and it wasn't until we got to Centauri Prime that we learned that it was Centauri ships that had been destroying other vessels so it's going to be interesting to see what happens because of all of this let's go I got another team doing the same thing in Brown 9 as a distraction with any luck before they know we're here we'll they won't know which way they've got in well how are they keeping you out they've got patrols all over the place I guess they're sensing where we are and as soon as they figure it out they rush in steel plating and weld it to the other side so what's taking Taking you so long to burn through. Well, they've got other ways to slow us down. Whoa! What? There's a bomb on the other side of the door. What? Well, how do you know? There isn't a bomb. I just know, that's all. There's no bomb. Remember what I said about other ways of slowing us down? Listen to me. Listen to me. Oh, he's going to be terrified. He won't want to go about his work. Put that idea into your head. These reports. What's he doing? We are at peace. We cut production on ships and weapons 25% and invest that money in domestic economy. Our production of war material has increased 15%. They're planning a war, I guess, because they know a war's well, with coming. everyone now on the same side, perhaps you're planning to invade yourselves That's for a change. That's the point, Jakar. I find the idea curiously appealing. I don't think everybody's on the same side. Because we saw the Drazi Would doing like things spoons? behind Fresh. the scenes. Ah, get that away from me. Spoon needs to age. It takes time to, to cultivate its flavor. To eat fresh spoons to insult us entirely. I don't even know where you got it. I saw it on a tray heading into the south end of the palace. I assume no one would mind if I took it. What? Olari, where was it going? Find like out. A ship to you? What's in the south end of the palace? The underground cells. There's a nun? Take me there. Hello? Is there someone here? Yeah, there's chains. <laughs> Did they get you as well? Does she still think there's a war? Oh, the war is over. Why? When? Why is she still here? Norn is free, Natal. When did you get here? I thought you were dead. We all thought you died on the first wave of attacks on Norn. Almost. We had no warning. Oh, it's proper Natal as well! Nothing. I heard nothing until a second star appeared in the morning sky, and then the sky exploded. Five million non killed in the first few minutes of the attack. There are no words, Jacob. I awoke in the ruins of the capital. A centaurian boot was on my throat. Oh, God. It's the last thing I remember before I woke on the ship coming here. They wanted us as trophies of their victory. Oh, she's slave labor and as entertainment. 
We saw what they did to Jakar. They put me here because I was not sufficiently entertaining. She was my aid, Molari. What the fuck? And my friend. What is she still doing here? I have no idea. Is she still here because she was Jakar's aid? She was probably just forgotten. Forgotten? You put her in this cell. They were still feeding her, so her she wasn't that forgotten. And then simply forgot that she was here? I didn't do anything, Jakar. I didn't know she was here. I would have been back on Babylon 5 I when she was here. I didn't do anything. Then why is she still here? The war is over. Why is she still here? Probably because the Emperor gave the order. It was a mistake. And now we are going to correct this mistake. Give me one hour. If I'm not back by then, go ahead and seal up this side of it and keep trying to cut through someplace else. It would take me an hour just to crawl through. I sent for help, but they won't be here for at least another day or two at the earliest. You got a flashlight? Oh, God. Imagine best to be a known as hell. All the information's on my desk in case something goes wrong. Captain. Just a kiss. I think you better. It's the ones who got out that I'm worried about. I'm worried about those. You those think guys. they might resort to sabotage? Yes. Possibility. Anything. They were angry. All right, all right. I will talk to her when and if she gets back. Anything else? Yeah, one thing. Drazi Security Patrol found this at the site of the most recent attack on the Drazi shipping lines. This is Bakiri metal. It looks like it was blown off during the fight. Oh. Bakiri? Shit. Type to go around attacking other races without provocation. There are probably two dozen dead Drazi that would disagree with that assessment right about now. The Drazi plan on introducing this at the next council meeting tomorrow morning. Oh, As a courtesy, God. they wanted you to know. Are there Centauri lay on extra recruiting security. members of the Alliance? I have a hunch. There's going to be trouble once this gets out. I don't doubt it. Somebody's been attacking the shipping lines of many of the Alliance worlds, and they're looking for someone to lash out at. When you threaten to reveal their secrets, you got the full benefit of their paranoia. Any chance you might have had to get a hold of your people... They'll have picked up, right? shot to hell. Oh, shit. From where I sit, that renders this They might have picked up about With respect, the Centauri Captain, ships. That's not your decision to make. At least help us to identify your people who are still operating outside. That would that would help put their minds at ease. We don't betray our own kind. We will stay oh, here as long as God. it takes to communicate our Even when there's rebellions message. within, they, they still We were created to up. serve normals. Now that the Shadow War is over, we deserve compensation. A home. Won't happen. They'll see you dead first. Did you get through to Nam? Yes. Oh, my you word. have a ship standing by to intercept us midway to Babylon 5. <gasps> then take her home. Yes, well, the hard part is still getting Natath out of the palace and onto our ship first. And how are we going we to, to do, do that? Without killing a guard, without raising any alarms, and without anyone noticing that she is gone. Our scientists have analyzed it and found it to be of Brakiri origin. What? We believe that the Brakiri have been using the telepath Divide who spied on us to get information about our shipping lines and our defense systems. Oh. We believe that they are working with us only so they can steal from us. For every one of our ships that is intercepted and destroyed, we will destroy one of their ships. I love these guys. We too have found debris from an attacking ship in the ruins of one of our vessels. We too have analyzed it. And was that debris of Brakiri origin? No. It was made by Drazi. <gasps> Someone is hitting your people and leaving material they hope will implicate the rest of you. Yes. Someone is trying to divide the alliance, so distrust, make you lash out at each other. I had Mr. Garibaldi do a complete examination of those two pieces. They weren't blown off a ship. They were cut off. They planted them where they knew you would find them. Yeah. Hoping for exactly this reaction. But who would do that? I don't know, but I do know that blaming each other right now is the worst thing that we could do. A uh, good jacquard. Have oh, you seen? I don't think so. Help me. We don't have much time. Thomas, he's here. Who? Besta. One of the others saw him pass through customs. If he's here, then the Bloodhound units can't be far behind. And this time, the captain won't help us. <laughs> ah! Ah! Watch it! Oh no, they got the welder! Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Still breathing. Med lab, med lab, this is security. I need a trauma team and brown nine ASAP. I don't think the welder's gonna make it. This one's dead. So's he. Firing there. I know. I know it started. 
I didn't want this to happen, Rita. I said that. They're killing in my name. I have to stop it. There's nothing you can do. Yes. Yes, there is. Just give us some more time. There's a lot of speculation, but there is no direct evidence that anyone in the Alliance is responsible for these attacks. I will not condone any military action by any member world without clear and absolute proof. Shit. Move on your own, and you are alone. Oh. And you'll have to take the consequences. You have threatened to use force against us when all we wanted was to protect ourselves. Every great fall begins with a single mistake. This was yours. Do you think she will be all right? I think so. But it will take her spirit longer to heal than her body. Oh. I will tell you a true thing, Jacquard. Getting her out of there, the danger, I found it... <laughs> exhilarating? <laughs> Most exhilarating. Oh. The burnout off. I'm glad you could make it. Now let's get to work. Oh, Lord. Personal log, June 18th, 2262. Everything's gone to shit. I don't think I've had a good night's sleep since I got here. No, and I've said this. No exception. Nobody sleeps here. But I have to sleep. Tonight is the calm before the storm, and I may not get another chance for some time. Tomorrow the storm comes. Tomorrow the killing begins. God help me, I can't think of any way to stop it. I think my favourite thing about this entire episode was the discovery that in these cells, kind of in a forgotten part of the Centauri Palace, was Natoff. And she'd been captured during the first bombardments of Nan and was taken back to Centauri Prime to act as entertainment for Cartagia and the rest of the royal court. But because she wasn't entertaining enough, they basically put her in a cell and she'd been there for over two and a half years, completely forgotten about, other than the guard who was there to give her food and water. The fact that it was the Nat off from season one, I think hit me more than anything. And to see her was just brilliant to get Jakar to have that moment of being able to say goodbye to her I just thought was amazing and seeing Londo help her get out of there as well and safely get her back to the Nan home world was just beautiful actually and I didn't expect this at all and it was just an absolute joy to see her again the fact that we got to see her again in the first place and we got that goodbye was just I never expected that whatsoever but knowing that you know Londo and Jakar are now back on their way to Babylon 5 Londo knows there's something going on with the ships and you know like from records he's been looking at he's wondering why money isn't being put into the economy for growth and it's like why are they spending on ships is it's like they're getting ready for a war and i'm like that's exactly what they're doing basically they're getting themselves ready for war against the alliance i guess because that seems to be what their plan is he here and we know there's at least two shadow allies on centauri prime so to see that they're planting bits of ships with the Brakiri, the game, the Drazi, so that they will turn on each other. And it's like the whole shadow divide and conquer tactic. And they're doing the same thing. The allies of the shadows through Centauri Prime are doing exactly what the shadows were doing when the shadows were trying to get the non-aligned wilds to break apart and fight each other. And the Drazi at the end basically saying to John, look, things happen because of one small mistake. You put in the rangers near our patrols, maybe that one mistake that breaks everything. I was like, shit it's like everything's already starting to fall apart and we're only 10 episodes into this season then we've got the situation with the telepaths and Lockley calling in Besta and then Besta getting his troops here to get to Byron and his group and then the, the breakaway group that left Byron as well the fact that Lockley went in there as well was interesting because I was thinking well maybe they'll strike a deal but Byron was just like no I just wanted to say goodbye because this is probably the last time I'll speak to you I was a bit like is he going somewhere if so please don't take Lita if he's not going somewhere is it because he expects to not make it out of this does he expect everybody to to die at some stage and he even said himself he didn't want the fighting or the killing and i believe that wholeheartedly i don't think that's ever what he wanted but the way things have ended up progressing him having the blackmail even though Lockley said look it's useless everyone's fighting with each other now anyway it kind of i think he did that whole blackmail thing because he was desperate but it did backfire on him and it's now resulted in this violence so you know he's saying like 
John and Lockley have made errors, but he's made errors himself as well along the way. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next, especially with Bester being here now as well. So I'm going to sign off and say thank you and I will see you guys later. So thank you.